really well and that you had a blessed Imolk. Um, I hope you really enjoyed last week with the um, information that me and my guides gave you on Imolk. Uh, a very blessed day. I had a wonderful time. I went down to my sacred well, um, which is like two miles from my house, which is really, really blessed. But I live on kind of the edge of the Peak District. So we have like a lot of standing stones and Neolithic tombs over in sacred wells. So I went down to my sacred well. Absolutely beautiful. I had a wonderful time. So what we are going to be doing today is, are their actions going to change? Okay, so how your person has been acting, we're going to see if there's a shift in the energy, a change in the frequency with you and them. So this is debt number one and this is debt number two. So I want you to think about your person. And as you're thinking about the, your person, I want you to feel that heart-based energy that you have and push it, feel it pushing into the debt that you are most drawn to. Now, if you can't feel the energy being pushed in, I want you to visualize a green or a pink color Go into the deck that you want, number one and number two. Okay, let's do this. So as always, as you know, works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, deck number one. Um, regardless of your individual circumstances, you go into all your energies, all your people's energy, and pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So just going into your guy, you guys, watch him. Energy first, can I get into their energy? And can I get, think about your person for me. Can you get into their person's thoughts and their energy, emotions and thought processes? And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, choices and changes. So let's see if there's going to be a change in your person's actions. Is there a change in their people's actions towards those watching? Let's see what is going down, what's going on. One do this deck is so beautiful i haven't used it for ages this is the hush tarot um it's a mass-produced one so you can get it on amazon if you do like the cards i just think they're absolutely beautiful look stunning stunning cards how many do you want okay my guide is saying we're just going to go for eight cards today are oh, that actions going to change five okay there's the eight in fact, okay, we can do that. We just said, put three on top for my dog. She's camera shy. Uh, I know I managed to get her on the camera a couple of times, but she's just pottering off one. Are that actually going to change to... So eight main cards, three at the top. So where do you want to start? Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's start at the end. <laughs> let's start at the end of the actions, the three cards that we have got at the very, very top. So for those that you read tarot, we have the world, we have the wheel, and we have the king of cups. So there is a shift in their energy towards you. Now there is a whole load of eight cards down here to get to these three at the top, but the overall outcome over here is that there is a shift, there is a change in the frequency of you and your person. So your person's really going to start acting on a more heart-centered energy. They're really going to start feeling the emotions, start working towards you, with um, a more emotional outlook on things. So where they have been and how they've been handling you and them, it hasn't been that emotional. They have been a little bit withdrawn. They haven't been giving you particularly what you want. They might have said to you their emotions have changed or they're just not feeling it or they might just be acting on a more sexual energy. Either way, whatever is happening in your individual circumstances, there is a shift in the frequency. The world symbolising a breaking of a cycle, okay? So where you guys are feeling that you've been, I just saw a clairvoyant of a record going around, where you feel like you've been playing the same track over and over and over, Spirit saying the same beaten track. So quite a um, heavy energy with that, that the record's a little bit scratched, a little bit worn down. Well, you guys have been going over the same thing over and over and over again, there is going to be a change in that frequency and things are going to be shifting and moving. The wheel, you know, when we talk about the wheel, it's often a cycle and it always makes me think of the Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. I don't know if any of you are Game of Thrones fans, but when she says that we, we're not going to do something with the wheel, I'm going to break the wheel. And that is where that Wheel of Fortune card really steps into my energy for you guys. That there is going to be a breaking of this kind of same beaten track that you guys have been going down. 
okay with the king of cups kind of flagging up over here obviously with your star signs you can relate it to that i don't tend to read star signs on public readings because there's so many of you it could instigate anything um so with your king of cups energy over here this is your person acting more on an emotional side of things so there is a break and a change in your cycle with your person so are their actions going to change right off the bat there is a break there is a change there is a shift and it is for a more emotional heart-based energy so let's have a look at the rest of this, what's been happening over here. You guys have been feeling quite emotional about the situation. Uh, we've got the Queen of Cups kind of laying down over here. She's laying in the bottom left corner. Perhaps stuff from the past, you've been feeling quite emotional, quite run down, feeling like this hasn't been going the way you want it to. But with the King of Cups over here, we do have a partnership coming forward, okay? So where things have been in the past where you've been feeling a little bit emotional, a little bit that you've been trying to... Spirit saying, stand your territory, stand your ground. You know, you've been trying to step into this very strong, powerful energy. And, but then it keeps kind of going back to the same cycle. And that's why you're feeling stuck. That's why you're struggling. Because history just keeps repeating and repeating itself. Um, you've been feeling very worn down, very tired. There's been potential conflict, arguments, things like that happening with you guys. Um, stuff in the past that has kind of marked your relationship. So where there's been issues in the past, these issues kind of still come to the forefront of your mind a lot of the time. So you try and move yourself forward and then that forefront, you know, the issues over here keep coming back up to the surface and it makes you feel stuck. It makes you feel stagnated and you don't really know how to progress with it. You really, yeah, your person's been feeling very burdened. Your person's been feeling quite uh, confused by the situation. They've been feeling that maybe they haven't been handling this the right way. Now, there's a cat on here, okay? Now, I, lo I love cats, but they often say, I, I heard this quote the other day and I absolutely loved it. And I said it to one of, uh, one of my clients as well. He sent me some pictures of horses and I was like, I love this quote. Dogs look up to us, cats look down on us, and horses see right through us. How beautiful is that? So we have the cat coming up in their energy towards you. So you might feel that they have been looking down on you. Now cats are very kind of, they have this behavior, don't they? They can go out, they can go where they want, be who they want, they can go prowling through the middle of the night, and then when they want a bit of love and attention, they come back to you and be like, oh, hi, give me a fuss, give me a fuss. So there is a sense of independence happening with your person, and you might feel as if um, their behaviour hasn't quite been how you want it to be. It's been kind of very catty behaviour, um, and it's made you feel like shit. There's no other way to explain it. It's made you feel a little bit rubbish over the situation um you've been feeling trapped over it because you haven't wanted to try and control them you haven't wanted to say oh i don't like this i don't agree with this you've kind of just stayed quiet with it because of your emotions for them because you've been scared of rocking the boat but there's a shift again there is this shift happening uh big changes going on around you guys the lovers and we have movement coming in from the lovers okay so your person um it's really interesting we have this the two swans on here again symbolizing imalk okay so first of february ch shifts change lots of changes happening around you guys so you might feel like nothing has really been happening but there is action coming towards you so your person um is going to start where you've been feeling trapped and you've been feeling stuck they're going to start unpicking those ties so where they've been you've been like feeling like you're wrapped up a bit like a mummy they've got the scissors and they're going to start cutting through that mummy kind of skin to give this relationship the freedom and love that it deserves what's going to cause this wake up call um it looks as if some of you guys have been manifesting maybe you did watch the emilk you know those of you that watched the start of the emilk video um manifesting coming up over here things that you've sent out to the universe are going to start coming back towards you so where there's been doubt and fear of whether it's going to work out or what's going to happen there is that shift there is a change and it comes through alignment okay manifesting or vibrational alignment so the more you've surrendered this the more you've released this and said you know what universe you know what i want can you please bring it to me the more it's coming your direction and that is going to be what creates the shift now spirit are saying with that some of you guys we spoke last week about towers the big t towers the little towers some of your people are going to have a little bit more of a wake-up call with regard to the situation with you they might feel on occasions that they're losing you that you're not giving them the attention that they want anymore um, that 
you know, they've got to start making ends meet with regard to the situation. Um, and that is going to create these changes with your person as well. So is that actions going to change towards you? Yes, they are. Uh, reasons why they're going to be changing is because of an energy alignment and perhaps because some towers have been happening. But these towers are going to make them want to rebuild this relationship in the right direction. You know, really rebuilding it up. Definitely breaking the wheel. The love for you is really, really strong. Um, February 1st has been a massive change in this energy for you. Um, it might take a couple of weeks for you to really notice the change, but there has been a shift in this energy, energetic alignment spirit, I think. Um, unconditional love really stepping forward over here. You guys are going to start feeling better over the situation. You're not going to feel quite as burdened by it. You're going to be feeling almost like a sense of release that you are the ones that are holding the key to this. You are the ones that are in control of this. Uh, you Up till this point, you probably thought that your person was the one calling the shots because of them with their cat-like behaviour. Um, because of that, you've been feeling that they've been calling the shots, but there is a shift in this energy, a massive shift in this energy. And this shift in the energy is bringing the two of you closer together. So it's all here for you. Breaking cycles, breaking wheels, breaking change, new beginnings. So is your person going to change their actions, actions towards you? Yeah. There is, they are, it's just going to be a little bit of a break of the cycle, first and foremost, going to sneeze. <coughs> I always have my heating on, dead hot, so I think, like, when I have it on this hot in winter, I can't have the windows open, I normally have the windows wide open as soon as it gets a little bit warmer, really cold at the moment, so it makes me sneeze, the heating makes me sneeze, I've noticed that, um, I know, someone, ooh, I know someone said uh, in the public reading before that when in their culture, when you sneeze, it talks about you speaking the truth. So take that as you will. OK, there is a divine connection here. There is a love between the two of you. You're king and your queen of cups over the top, your partnership. You have the lovers over here. I love that lovers card. So beautiful. Um, so it's all here for you. Two cards of wheels, two cards of things changing, turning, new chapters beginning. OK, so there is a change in your person's behaviour and it's not in the too distant future. It's not too far ahead. So if you need me, drop me a message. England is still on lockdown at the moment. So I am at home. I'm reading every day. Um, so if you need me, it's a really good time to book. Um, I hope you're all staying safe in these really difficult times that everyone is going through. Very difficult times at this at the moment. Very hard for a lot of people. So I'm sending you all love. I'm sending healing out to you all as well. Uh, look after yourself. Stay safe. And lots of blessings to you all. Bye, darlings. Okay, guys. Deck number two. So as I said at the start, it works for the strongest mutual energy between you all going into all your energy, all your people's energy, and pulling out that strong energy that lies within all of yours. So think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? Doopy, 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 doo. And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of the person as well. So let's see if their behaviour, their actions are going to change towards you. My guide is just saying two more. So I'm going to pull eight main cards uh, for you guys. One more. And then potentially three at the top, but I'll see what, see what my guide says. Okay. Can you tell me, please, are their actions going to be changing? Are their actions going to be changing? One, two... I love this deck. Really speaks to like my druid heritage. Four, five. Do you want? Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Six. So my guide wants the three at the top as well. So we'll do exactly the same as what we did with deck number one. One. So I'm getting um, under the bridge downtown. Was it the chili peppers? I'm getting that coming forward. Under the bridge downtown. I don't remember, I actually remember the lyrics. It's been years since I listened to the chili peppers, but it's coming to the forefront. 
So is there going to be a change in your person? Spirit, my guides are saying that heartbreak often leads to very strong decisions and changes. So what we have right at the start of this connection of this reading is we have this heartbreak, but we also have this union of coming back together, a reconciliation. OK, so where you guys have been feeling low, where everything's been very sad, very heavy, there is a reconciliation happening between you guys. So whether you've gone for a breakup, whether you've had a dispute, whether it's all just gone shit tits up, you have this coming back together between you guys. Now, there looks to be stuff from the past which is coming up um, stuff that really in the past created this chaos around you spirit are saying and this chaos led to heartbreak this chaos led to this pain this suffering and this struggling um of the relationship between you guys so you haven't been going through an easy time uh, your person also hasn't been going through this time uh, an easy time what you've both been doing is you've been trying to look at it from the other person's perspective um, but it looks as if you guys, especially your person, has been a little bit blinkered in their point of view on this. So they've kind of tried to see it from your side of things, tried to see it from your perspective, but it keeps coming back to them and what they want and how it's going for them. And, you know, it's kind of a little bit selfish. Your person can be a little bit selfish on occasions, but I guess everyone can be. Um, there is this heartbreak and pain that is arising from this stuff that's happened in the past, really kind of rearing its head. Um, memories you know there's also a lot of more positive memories spirit are saying here and these positive memories are kind of eating on your person a little bit that they're either missing you if you're not in contact or missing the connection if you are in contact how good it was they're missing that they're craving that they're longing for that uh, but they're just a little bit selfish and are they going to change about that well you know um leopards don't really change their spots do they we always say that, um, you know, if you're expecting a personality transplant from your person, it's probably unlikely going to happen. But do know that they are going through this kind of pain as well. They are struggling with this situation and the stuff that's happened in the past between you guys is really haunting them. OK, so there's a kind of spiritual connection happening between you guys. There's definitely a need to speak your truth to your person. Uh, you've been reflecting on how to communicate it, what you actually want to say. Some of you guys have, I just saw um, a bunch of written out messages on your notes. You, Some of you guys have been writing messages to your person, getting ready to that point where you're going to send them, but potentially you haven't sent them yet, or some of you might have just sent them. Um, there is this need to be speaking your truth You've been feeling like you've been in this darker side of things. And once you speak your truth for your person, you're going to feel this heaviness lifting around you. So it's going to be kind of like this period of, of feeling the light where you've been in the darkness, you're feeling the light. And if we're coming back to this time of year, as I said in the last vi video in, in Imolk, um, you know, this is when the light and morning start happening. So it's actually a good time for you guys to be speaking your truth, to be communicating your truth. OK, um, up until the spring equinox, it's most likely you guys are going to be doing this till about the 21st of March. Some of you guys are going to be talking about your feelings and your emotions and um, definitely been reflecting on it. You've what the door's been kept open between you and your person. Like it hasn't been completely shut. It hasn't been job done. It's over. Let's never talk again. Um, it is still there. The door is still open between you both. OK, um, but there is this definite need to communicate your truth and you will do that when the time is right. Um, do trust your own intuition and your own instinct on that and when you want to actually say what you feel you need to say, when you want to send that long worded paragraph of text message that you've written out. So your person um, wants to take a little bit of responsibility for this. They want to take a little bit of responsibility for this, but they also feel that kind of, don't take this the wrong way. I have to, don't shoot the messenger. They do feel that it takes two hands to clap, okay? So kind of coming back to this point of view right at the start where they can be a little bit blinkered about seeing things from your perspective. So they can see things from your perspective a teeny weeny bit, um, but they, they feel that they kind of want you to take responsibility for some of the stuff that has happened as well. 
Oh, I know that's going to hurt, but I have to tell you exactly what spirit are telling me, okay? Now, your person is feeling very burdened by this. They are, it's going through their thought process a lot. They are thinking of you. They are missing you if you guys are not in contact. There's just a little bit of a mix match of your energies. So your energies just aren't quite aligned at this point in time. You feel like you're climbing up this uphill slope, um, that you're kind of battling this energy all the time, that you're really kind of fighting, moving yourself up upwards and upwards and upwards, really kind of going on this uphill slope, um, when really we just need you to turn around and just go with the flow of the stream, okay, because it will take you where you need to go. So if you feel like you are fighting for this connection to be constantly working, try release it, try surrender it, because the more you release and surrender, the more you let go and you go downstream, the better it's going to be for you. Please do trust your intuition as well. Some of you guys are getting messages from spirit. Some of you guys are swearing at your spirit guides because of the frustration that is arising from the situation because of your person's actions. And again, it's this kind of battle going uphill and uphill. Do know that spirit can hear you. Um, some of you are getting messages coming through your dreams as well. Might be worth you uh, getting a journal and writing down your dreams. There's a really good dream book called Naked in Public. I can't remember who it's by, um, but that's a really good book if some of you want to look at dream interpretation. Um, you know, dreams always come from inside of us. Everything that happens in our dreams comes from within us. Apart from if it is a person, a 5D dream, the cover colours are really vivid. And if it's your person's in it, you won't see their lips moving. Okay, that's when it's a 5D dream. Other than that, it's normally within you and what your body, your physicality, your subconscious is trying to tell you. So do be pay attention to your dreams. Do really recommend that book. Now, where it's going with this uphill battle and this need to speak your truth, once you have done that, you can create these changes around you. There is changes happening. Um, you're going to be feeling a little bit mis. Well, it's the right word here. Um, you're going to be feeling a little bit uncertain. Uncertain. You're not going to be sure how this is going to go. And you're going to feel as if you're kind of just bobbing with your head above the water a little bit. Now, with that, my guide is saying, please don't hang on to driftwood. You're not drowning. OK, but you might feel that your emotions are really up here and your head is just kind of staying above the water. You're just trying to keep paddling and you're not really sure where you're going. Um, now, there is potential over here for this uh, to make a shift in the right direction for you guys. Um, and it will come through the open communication through you guys speaking your truth. If you do that, there is a chance for it to change. However, again, spirit coming back with your people in deck number two, lepers do not change their spots. So if you're expecting a personality transplant from everything that has happened here, it is unlikely to happen. It will happen for a little bit of time as they appease you, as they give you what you want, but then it's likely that things will go back to the way it was. was. Bad English. I was going to say it were, go back to the way it was before. So there are changes, there are things happening, um, but the, the cycle looks to be continuing with you guys, that your, their behaviour isn't necessarily going to change. You have got romantic new beginnings happening over here. You have got the love between you guys really coming to the forefront. Um, we have got this need for intuition. We also have a lot of fear surrounding this situation. Um, you guys, your people as well, you get that initial thought, then you overthink it and you overthink it and you overthink it and you overanalyze it and suddenly you get two and two and you make about 50. Um, and that doesn't help when you're trying to, you know, um, step away from this heartbreak and this pain. So do just be a little bit aware of your thoughts. Um, unless you know facts and unless it's your intuition, i.e. your gut instinct, um, then disregard it. If it's just your mind going like this, please do step away from those thoughts, try and put a mental block up. No, you know, something along those lines, okay? Really following your intuition on things. Now, the top three cards over here, we have the Emperor and we have the Queen of Wands um, coming up, or, or the Green Man in this deck. Um, this deck is the Wildwood Tarot. Love this deck, really love this deck. Um, and we also have the Salmon. Now, in Druid... Um, in the druid faith in the in the druid yeah in the druid faith uh salmons are really really important to us um so where you are this kind of queen of cups the salmon energy the birthing of new life where you are in this energy there is a rebirth happening within you okay so you're gonna start really changing things around you are gonna start changing your person still very much in the stubborn strong male 
energy, but there is changes happening within you, okay? And you are going to start going downstream rather than fighting upwards, okay? And what you'll do with that is wherever you want to go, whatever it is that you want to achieve, you've got your arrow, Spirit just said Cupid's arrow, you've got your arrow, you can point it, you can um, fire it, and it's going to land where you want it to go. It will land where you need it to, where you want it to. Um, so with that, you are the one that is in control. You know, you might think your person has it in control, but with this rebirth happening within you, you are the one that is going to take control of this. Is your person's actions going to change towards you? No. But what does that mean for you? That means that your actions are going to be changing towards them. Ooh. So wherever these thoughts have been going, wherever these feelings have been going, um, if it, again, if it isn't your intuition, you know, really trust your intuition, not your mind. Okay, mind can lie, the mind can deceive, um, but definite, definite rebirth happening with you. So you're going to be the one in control. You're the one with the Cupid's arrow. You're the one that's going to fire it in the direction that you want. And your person is going to have no choice but to follow that. Okay, and the reason for that is because whilst their actions won't change, yours can. And if your actions change, your person can mirror up to that energy. And it comes back to this card right at the start with this mirroring energy happening. Okay, so lots of things going on around you, lots of potential change, but that change starts within you. Spirit just told me the quote um, there's nothing so um, intriguing as a person sitting in their own prison cell holding the key. OK, you are more in control of this than what you feel. You've got the key to change this. And all that changes will start within you. And when you create those changes within yourself, especially with a more divine connection, your person has to echo those changes because of the mirroring. And that is going to be the best way to resolve it. So at the moment, not much changes within them, but definitely a rebirth within you. Okay, guys, and that is deck number two. So if you need me, drop me a email or an Instagram or a Facebook message. I am around pretty much all the time because we're on lockdown. Uh, you know, lots of walking for me and lots of trips to the shop and that's it. <laughs> Other than that, I'm reading all the time. So just drop me a message if you need me. I'm sending tons of blessings to you all. Look after yourself and I will speak to you soon. Bye, darlings.